हेलो स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू द क्लास ऑफ अप्लाइड जोलॉजी दिस इज द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ स्टडी ऑफ इंसेक्ट पेस्ट विथ रिस्पेक्ट टू मार्क ऑफ आइडेंटिफिकेशन नेचर ऑफ डैमेज इकोनॉमिक इंपॉर्टेंस एंड कंट्रोल मेजर्स इन आर प्रीवियस सेशन दैट इज पार्ट वन वी हैव ऑलरेडी लर्न जवाब स्टेम्बोर एंड रेड कॉटन बग एंड इन दिस सेशन we are learning brinjal fruit borer and mango stem borer which are economically very important pest of agriculture crop first insect pest is brinjal fruit borer brinjal or egg plant is well known and economically important fruit vegetable crop in south and southeast asia it is grown worldwide for its edible fruit which has good market value the brinjal fruit borer lucinodus orbanalis is an important pest of brinjal the main larval host plant of lucinodus orbanalis is brinjal but it also known to feed on other solanaceous plants like tomato potato soda apple nipple fruit turkey berry cape gooseberry etc occasionally also been seen feeding on green pods of peas what are the main identification marks in case of brinjal fruit borer the adult moth is small measures about 20 to 22 mm wingspan the dorsum of the thorax an abdomen has pale brown or black marks the wings are white with pinkish or bluish tinge and ringed with small hair like white cilia along the apical and anal margin four wings with the base black indistinct intermedial and medial yellowish brown lines a large apical black patch irrorated with a few gray scales and transverse by pale sinuous line continues as a yellow line to outer angle hind wing is with basal black specks pale yellow discocellular spot yellow postmedial line bent inwards it has a subapical black spot cilia are white in case of larva which is also called as caterpillar they are creamy white when young and light pinkish violet in color when full grown the measures about 18 to 23 mm in length head is dark and sclerotized and provided with mandibulate type of mouth parts the damage is done by caterpillars the tiny larvae enter into the fruit by making tiny holes which is not easily noticeable it harbors within it and destroys the whole internal tissue this is how brinjal fruit borer causes the damage a healthy looking brinjal may contain several larvae large holes are the exit openings of the last instar caterpillars for pupation when this larvae enters the leaf petiole of young shoot the infested portion wilts and droops so this is the nature of damage caused by the brinjal fruit borer what are the main control measures of brinjal fruit borer the cultural control methods it includes uprooting and burning of the infested plant to avoid future infestation keep watch in the early stage of the crop when infestation on the young shoot can be easily spotted and should be nipped in the bud hand picking followed by destruction of caterpillars intercropping of tomato and potato in rotation with brinjal cropping of variety with long tubular fruits are less susceptible to attack use of light traps and kerosenized water to kill the adult moth so all these are the cultural control methods what are the biological control method a tiny vas trethella flavor vitalis which is harmless to human is one of the important parasitoid to control the infestation pristimerus pestaceus cremastus flavor vitalis 
Bracon species are some parasitoids associated with the larvae of this pest. The egg parasitoid Trichogramma pylonis is also effective to control the pest population. The nuclear polyhydrosis virus spray and bacillus thuringiensis are also effective in controlling this pest. Predators like Campylonura species, which is a bug, Pylomenus species, which is a ladybird beetle, Coccinella species, which is a seven spotted ladybird beetle, and Bromoidus species, which is a three stripped ladybird beetle, plays important role in controlling this pest. Chemical control methods. Insecticidal application is expected only to check further infestation and not to kill most of the borers which larvae which have already entered the plant tissue. Spraying with 0.1% carbaryl, conifose, endosulfon, chloripyrophose at regular intervals of 7 to 10 days is effective to control adults. Pheromonal control. Male moth can be lured and killed with the help of sex pheromone baited in suitable trap. A 2-3 mg of pheromone sample contained in porous plastic tube with a suitable trap can be placed in the field continuously for up to 6 weeks. Pheromone smell sipping from the tube lures the male moth and they get trapped and fall into the soapy water in the trap. Make sure the trap is never dry and soapy water is refill often to ensure the killing of the moth. This trap can last at least for one season. So this is how one can control infestation of brinjal fruit borer. The next important pest species of insect is mango stem borer. The mango, which is Mangifera indica, is one of the precious juicy fruit worldwide. It is a national fruit of India and known as king of fruits. The mango plants are continuously attacked by many pests among which mango stem borer, Batocera rubis and Batocera rufarmaculata are important pests of mango causing severe damage. The larvae of Betocera rubis and Betocera rufamaculata mainly attacks the mango plant, but they are also known to feed on feet, rubber, jackfruit and eucalyptus plant. What are the main identification marks of mango stem borer? The adult is large, well-built beetle, measuring up to 5 cm in length and 2 cm in breadth. It has brownish yellow or grayish ground color. The beetle has two pink spots and lateral spines on thorax. It has long legs and antenna, dirty white band extending from the head to tip of the body from each side. Elytra have several yellowish dirty spots. In case of larva, the full grown larva, which is called as grubs, are stout, linear, fleshy, yellowish white. The larvae is apodous with dark brown head and well developed strong mandibles. Larvae measures about 6 to 9 cm length and 2 cm in width. What is the nature of damage in case of mango stem borer? Grubs feed by tunneling through the bark or branches or stem, make irregular galleries on the stem, they chew material and excreta is thrown out of branches. Infestation results into drying of terminal shoot in early stage, wilting of branches and main stem, oozing of dark liquid from the entry hole and accumulation of frass on the ground. The female beetle makes an incision in damaged bark. The bark of stressed trees or in roots exposed by soil erosion and lays an eggs. 
subcortical feeding by the larva in main stem large branches or exposed roots creates a cavity allowing large patches of bark to become detached in heavy or continuous infestation tunneling weakens the wood to such an extent that branches break or the main stem collapse although the pest is not very common yet occurrence of infestation invariably kills the host so this is the diagrammatic representation of the nature of damage the grubs feed by the tunneling the bark of branches and main stem shedding of the leaves and drying of the terminal shoots takes place in early stages of the attack while damage to main stem causes trees death chewed food matter along with excreta is often seen at the infestation site economically these insects are very important they are the serious pest of mango plantation affecting the productivity what are the control measures for this mango stem borer first is cultural control methods regular cleaning application of salt lime or kerosene is helpful for reducing chances of infestation cutting the infested branches facilitate reduction in the population of grubs and pupae physical control can also be done with the help of small knife or a piece of wire as a probe to injure the larva through hole in branches the chemical control methods include insecticide application to the main branches and exposed roots of host trees during the period of adult activity which can destroy the eggs and young larvae and it also discourage adult feeding grubs can be killed by injection of carbon disulfide and chloroform and cresol in 2 is to 1 ratio in the hole after the injection of volatile liquid or fumigant into the hole it should be plugged with the mud in order to increase rate of destruction so this is how we can control mango stem borer thank you